a wide range of ways are used to bring NPS into prisons. You've got the traditional methods such as uh, people visiting prisoners for example, throwing objects over the wall containing NPS. More creative ways include the use of drones, that is a well recognised phenomenon in English prisons and also the use of paper which is being impregnated uh, with synthetic cannabinoids. With these impregnated papers we have similar problems like we have with, with the herbal material which um, is that uh, the concentrations in this material may vary over a, a, a quite, a quite a great range um, and that means if you cut this into pieces that from one little piece of paper you might have a dose you know uh, varying by a factor of three or four. So that can of course be a big problem in, in dosing these drugs and maybe part of an explanation you know, for, for the high rate of intoxications and convulsions we see after the use of these drugs. Quite a number of prisons started to uh, not deliver the, uh, the, the mail, well in the, in the paper as it comes, but they just hand copies to the prisoners. Uh, but of course then they find other ways to transport it into the prison like clothings, for example, which are impregnated with substances or other, other means of, of transport. So it's very difficult to control because low amounts are enough to produce intoxication on the one hand and on the other hand uh, you can't see or smell the substance because you don't need you know, big amounts which you can easily see or detect. Specifically looking at supply reduction in English prisons, x-rays are being used, body scanners are being used, um, also um, methods to interrupt, interrupt the use of mobile phones and to uh, interrupt the use of drones. 